In the xy plane, a circle has a center C with coordinates hk. Points A and B lie on the circle. Point A has coordinates h plus 1, k plus the root square root of 102. And ACB is a right angle. What is the length of AB? <clears throat> okay, so we have a circle. And the center is C. And we're given that A, let's just say this is A, and B lie on the circle. So, and the, in this angle right here, ACB is a right angle. So, that means that this triangle here, ACB, is a right triangle because we know that A and B lie on the circle. So the length from C to A and C to B is the same. And since this is a right angle here, then this triangle here is a right triangle. Okay, let's try and find the radius of the circle, which is the length. AC or CB. So we are given that A has coordinates H plus 1 and K plus the square root of 102. And we're given that H and K are the coordinates of the center. So that means point A is 1 to the right, 1 unit to the right of C, and square root 102 units up from C. So here we can include it on this triangle here. Here this is the square root of 1 or this is one one unit to the right of C and then this length here from C up is the square root of 102. So that's a right triangle here. Since this is a horizontal line we drew then this must be a right tri right angle where the bottom is 1 and the this other leg over here is 102 and we want to find the radius which is this length here so i just took this triangle up here and we can just use the pythagorean theorem for that <clears throat> we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared and in this case a and b are the legs so 1 squared plus the square root of 102 squared equals r squared, which is the radius. So 1 squared is just 1, and the square, taking the square of a square root just cancels it out, so we're just left with 102, which equals r squared. So that means r squared is equal to the square root of 103 or r squared is just equal to 1, 0, 3. And then if we take the square root of both sides, this will get rid of the square on the r, and we'll be left with r equals the square root of 103. So that's the radius of this circle, which is this length here, 1, 0, 3 square rooted. Okay, now we know that this whole triangle here is a right triangle, because we're given that angle ACB is a right angle. So that means this triangle must also be a right, right triangle. And we're given the length of both of these sides here. We're, give, we're told that both of these are square root of 103, because both of these sides here are the radius of the circle, which you solve for. So now to find this length, A to B, which is what the question is asking for, we just need to use Pythagorean theorem again. So we just need to do square root of 103 squared plus the square root of 103 squared equals the length of AB squared. We'll just call that X. So X squared. So these are just the lengths of both of the legs, A and B. And this is the radius of, or the 
the side, the hypotenuse of the triangle. So we know that squaring something that's square rooted just cancels it. So we'll just be left with 103 and 103, which equals x squared. Then we can just take the square root of both sides. So we'll just take the square root of both sides to get rid of this square. So we'll be left with x equals the square root of 103 plus 103, which is just 206. So x is equal to the square root of 206. So the length of this side from a to b is the square root of 206. So a is the correct answer.